That was Chris Bray with Holy is the Lord. Here on your radio station, AM 930, The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, it's time for us to go to prayer. So whether your need is physical, spiritual, emotional, intellectual, financial, or family, I want you to know that even before the request is out of your mouth, the answer is already on the way. So Lord, once again, we thank you for this day. And we thank you that you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. We're heading towards the end of the month. And sometimes there seems to be more month than money. But Lord, we're so grateful that today you are going to take care of every single need that we have. In fact, Paul reminds us of Philippians 4.19 that you're going to supply every need according to your riches and glory. So right now, Lord, would you supply those wonderful or bring from those wonderful riches and glory our supply today? And we thank you for that. Lord, also, we thank you today that you are our healer. 1 Peter 2.24 is the scripture that we stand upon today that says, by your stripes we're healed. That means that the job has already been done. Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The punishment or the chastisement that we should have had he faced, and it gave us peace. And so, Lord, today, thank you for your healing touch. Whether we find ourselves at home or in hospital, no matter what we're dealing today, big or small, Father, thank you today that that wonderful healing is being distributed in our lives right now. And not just our own, but Lord, our family and friends. Because Lord, we can stand in intercessory prayer right now. And we do. And we believe for their healing as well. Again, Lord, we thank you today for the promise of Acts 16.31 that says not only are we going to be saved, but our household as well. Again, we pray for divine intervention in the lives of our family and friends today. We're so grateful that, Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, your wonderful, wonderful uh, salvation is being given to our family. And not, Lord, there's sometimes some wayward ones in our families. And we have a wonderful promise found in Proverbs 22, 6. Train a child in the way they should go, and when they're old, we will not depart, or they will not depart from. So, Lord, today, once again, thank you for that wonderful promise. Also, as well, today, we want to lift before you our first responders. Lord, we're so grateful for every one of them. Lord, thank you for them, our doctors, our nurses, those who work so hard on our behalf. And Father, today, we pray today that you will be with each one. We thank you, Lord, for their skill, their compassion, and their training, and we want to pray for their protection today as well. Lord, one final thing. The Bible says the steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. So, Lord, today, would you lead and guide us? Would you order our steps today? And Lord, help us, Lord, to look for opportunities to encourage. It could be a word that we give in the grocery store. It could be a text. It could be a call. Either way, Lord, let's look for opportunities that we can be a blessing to those around us. And we thank you, Lord, for all of these things. In your name we pray, Jesus.